Hey guys, here again with another video for Mario Kart Live Home Circuit here on the Nintendo Switch like you see right there. I've been playing it already. I did upload a video, the unboxing video, so I hope you actually saw that. Um, here is where you actually customize your vehicle after you keep on playing and you complete a certain you know achievements in the game you keep unlocking skins for your character horns and different type of skins for your vehicle so that's pretty damn cool i don't know how much of this you're gonna get here but you know at least you unlock stuff um here you got info i recommend to go through everything here that you see here uh, that way you get can get a little bit more familiarized about how everything works um here we're gonna go play a single player and um, one thing to keep in mind, I am really impressed how good this actually works. And also, keep in mind, you need to be on Wi-Fi. You be, need to be connected to your, your system, needs to be connected to your Wi-Fi. Um, here, we're going to go ahead and customize or create a new course because I reset everything up. Yesterday, I had a specific course when I did the unboxing. Uh, which I did, you know, pretty fast because I wanted to do the video as fast as possible. So every time you reset everything, like all the gates, or you want to create like a new course, just make sure you click create course. And now we're going to go ahead and drive through the gates. Gate two. And gate three. And this time around, I want to go under my sofa. <laughs> there you go. I wanted to have some, like, like uh, use my sofa as, like if it was like a like a bridge or something like that. And look at that. That's how this course look. If you want to try it again, you could go and try it again. But we're happy with that for the purpose of this video. Uh, you could go explore mode and test it out. Just going to drive around to see how it looks. Okay. Oh, another cool thing here is that you can customize uh, what happens at every gate. You can see here, you can put magnets, item boxes, boost, item boxes, like, I think I'll put item boxes. Okay, you could just put item boxes on every game, if that's what you want. But that's cool that you can actually um, the, apply different things to every game. Let's go ahead and put here, you know what I'm going to put here? I'm going to put, hmm, magnet seems cool. Uh, you know what? Boost, boost. We need to get some bows to go on through that. There you go. Yeah. And, um. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem right there. But you see there, uh, the edge of my entertainment system um, kicks in, you know, sticks into the track. Oop, there you go. Nice. Okay, I think we're happy with it for now. Okay, let's go and start a race here. We got Grand Prix, time trial, custom race. You can customize the car again if you want right here without, you know, leaving the world. So that's cool there. But, you know, every time you change, like you see there, well, it switches, it reloads again, but you're still in the world. Um, here you can choose 50 or 100, and you, like you saw there, there was more options for 200 and more. Um, wow, look at this. This is the first time I actually try Grand Prix. Hmm, which one should we choose? I like this one. This one looks pretty cool with the Luigi. Okay, you can change the course. Okay, okay, so I had to edit the video there because when I started this match, uh, you know that edge, the edge that I said about the TV that sticks out, my car got stuck there under the, the edge. So I had to restart the video because I actually had to get my car from, from under the, the, the damn TV stand. So I'm restarting again the same, same tracks that we chose from the, for the Grand Prix. We're starting again. So that's one thing you have to be careful when you, you're setting up your course. Uh, just make sure there's like nothing in the way. Like right now, I couldn't really... There you go. 
I just moved the gate a little bit more to the left. But I'm, like you see there, I'm gonna have to stick to the left side when I get to this section here. That way I don't. Ooh, there you go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're being targeted there. We got some banana peels. Some music. Ah, oh, no, are you kidding me? I hit the... Ah. Oh, damn it. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, at least we're second place. No! What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, we got what position? We got fourth, I think. Man, that was bad. You know what? What's cool is that all the things that happens on the screen, like in the VR world, or how you call it, the augmented reality world, it actually affects how you drive in this game. Because like when you get hit by something. Your car stops running when you actually um, hit like a one of those banana peels. Your car just uh, your controls just you, you it's un become the car becomes uncontrollable, so it's hard to handle. So that's really cool there that you know the app everything that you do here actually affects how you drive. Oh, I got you, but he didn't he didn't do nothing to him. Try to stick to the left side over here. There we go. We got first place. Yeah, baby. What is that? Oh, that's the fucking. Oh my god, this thing drags my vehicle. <laughs> oh no. What is this? Ah, oh, you kidding me? Oh my god, that is hard to control. <laughs> oh no, I hate one of those gates. Ah, this is a mess. <laughs> I think I hit... Oh, look at gate 2. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm... Ah, I'm rearranging my gates with my vehicle. Oh, look at that. I hit my, my my chair. This is where I'm sitting at right now. Okay, we got third place. Third place. Oh, man. I think I better change that chair. <laughs> there you go. So I had to go and change my chair because my gate, because it was all messed up. Okay, so here we are with race three. And of course, every time a match starts, you have to go back, you know, to start every match, you have to go back to the gate one over here and just uh, make sure you are in a proper spot facing the gate. There you go. This is the last track. Oh my god, everything's lava now. Nice. Ah! Now, um, you know, one thing about this so far that I noticed since I started playing yesterday, uh, when you take, uh, when you stop playing, or oh, when, whenever you start playing, make sure your floor is clean. Because your cart, the, the, the wheels aren't rubber. So it will, the, like the dirt or hair, anything like that will actually stick to the wheels. And to the tires. Make sure you, oh yeah, I got you sucker. <laughs> awesome. 
So yeah, when you before you start playing, make sure you're you know you you do some cleaning because you don't want like a whole bunch of hair or dirt inside of the you know the tire well. There you go. We got first place on this one, but overall we got number two. Okay, we got some coins there. We didn't reach the next prize, so we got second place. You unlocked a new environment. Okay, you unlock the new radio station. Okay. Okay, so that was pretty damn cool. Let's go and see what else can we show you here. Let's go and drive around. And I think what I'm going to do is do a one-time trial. Now, if I want, I could just rearrange everything again, the gates. But right now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave uh, these gates the way it is, like that. Okay, let's go in custom race. See, I could create a new gate if I want. I could customize the gates from here, too. Hmm. But you know what? Let's go ahead and I don't think I unlocked anything new here. Nope. Just the horns. There you go. I like the animation in this game, it's really cool. Oh, and also you can download this game that you see right here. You can actually download it for free. Uh but you of course you can't play because you don't have the card. So we're gonna do time trial here. We got 100 cc's, five laps. We're gonna choose uh, music for our for our time trial race. Grumble volcano environment. I'm gonna choose sunshine, and of course you could change the course again if you want to. You go rearrange the course or everything, anything that you want. And we're gonna do this. It's five laps, right? I think it's five laps. Oh, up there in the corner, like you see in the corner and the right or the top left corner, depending on what screen you're looking at it. Uh, you can see the power or the, the strength of your Wi-Fi, which you see on mine, it's three and it changed now to four. Like you see, now it changed to three, now it changed to two. And the gas, the gas pump right there is basically the battery life of my cart. So I got two bars out of four. So my cart right now is at 50%. Um, supposedly playing time will give you around like one full charge will give you around two hours of gameplay. I think that's what I heard between an hour and a half and two hours, depending how you play, you know. Um, and one thing that I forgot to do yesterday because I was so excited I wanted to try this was I forgot to actually charge it for the first time. When you play this for the first time, you should, just like every, you know, just like every electronic device, you should always, before you use, recharge it completely, then use it. Yesterday, when I did the unboxing, we didn't do that. We just started playing with the battery life that it came out of the box, and it had plenty of battery life, because I, I played, and after the video, I kept playing with my daughters, and moving around and playing around and you know it never died on us it never died on us i actually put it put it charging um this morning when i woke up a little bit before i did the video so it can have you know so it can guarantee it had some more juice and like you see there the little charge that i got was it's still at 50 percent so okay so now let's see we're like 15 minutes in Maybe we could go ahead and try one more race. Should we try a custom race? I believe it's like creating. Okay. Customized gates, customized card. Should we try another Grand Prix? Let's see. Okay, so I believe, I don't know how long you have to play to actually unlock 150 CCs and 200. 
But I, you know, I believe all you have to do is just keep on playing, and you're gonna keep on lacking stuff here in this game. So there you go. We chose that track right there. You know, one thing for uh, I have to say about this is that Nintendo needs to. Like, if this becomes popular, which honestly, with um, Black Friday coming around the corner or the holidays, I don't think there's going to be a real Black Friday, like traditional Black Friday. But with all the holiday sales that's going to be happening during this holidays, this thing is going to be hard to find. This game is going to be hard to find. Uh, especially if you're a parent looking for a great game for a kid that has a Nintendo Switch. For me, this would be like the number one gift I would tell a parent to get you, you know, get for your kid. Because it's just, honestly, it's, it's $100. Yeah, but you're going to have a lot of hours of gameplay. And it, you could become so creative. You could do so many courses and unlock so many stuff. And you have a physical cart. And the cart is actually pretty cool. And I believe this is going to sell out. I, this is if it's not sold out already this will sell out and if that's the case Nintendo needs to create like more characters like in, you only right now you only have Mario and Luigi they need to add more characters what about Peach you know Peach is like super popular when it comes to Mario Kart you know playing as Peach is really popular so I think Peach should be another one. You know, it would be badass to see the, the pink and white car. Peach, for me, has to be here. I don't know why they chose just Mario and Luigi. Because Peach, for me, I Peach is very popular when it comes to Mario Kart. So Peach should have a card. And I think, oh, this feels amazing. When you feel those things, oh, those rocks, those stones, I don't know how you call that, hitting the ground. You can feel the cart shake when you're getting next to the gates. Holy crap. Yep. Um, yeah, Peach is really popular. There should be a Peach cart. And a Bowser. At least a Bowser cart. But let me know in the comments. What cart would you like or would Nintendo have to release for you to buy this? Like if, if they came out with a new character tomorrow. Which card, which character would actually make you buy it right away? Let me know in the comments. I think Link would have been another great one. Link, I, li I like Link every time I play Mario Kart. Like, Link is one of my favorite characters. But like I said, Peach, for me, should have been a must. It should have been a must. Um, also, like I said, I already said, keep your full floors clean. Uh, wipe after you're done racing or playing with the game. Uh, make sure you always wipe down the tires. You know, wipe down the tires. Make sure you always do that. Uh, you don't want dirt to accumulate on inside of the tire wells. You don't want that to happen. Oh, look at that. We got a scuba driver equipped right away. Um, and also, I was going to say, and also, yeah, clean the camera. Clean, wipe down the camera. Wipe down the camera once in a while. Because if the camera gets dirty or foggy, you know the video quality is not gonna look good so you want the video quality to look as nice and crisp as possible so make sure before you're gonna play make sure you actually wipe down the camera make sure the tires are nice and clean and your floor is nice and clean and that's it you know oh man this feels great the wind is actually pushing the cart to the side <laughs> Oh, that is so cool that you can actually feel that. Whoa. You know what? I wonder if... Because these... These things that you're feeling here... Because this game you can play on the Nintendo Switch Lite. But remember, the Nintendo Switch Lite has no HD rumble. So these effects might not be... Oh, that's true. These effects might not be... Um, you might not be be able to feel these effects on the Nintendo Switch Lite. I'm going to have to test that. And I'll answer them in the comments if somebody asks. I'll answer them in the comments. Or maybe I'll just upload another video with the Nintendo Switch Lite. 
Okay, we gotta stop here. The wind is affecting my driving here. <laughs> oh my god, the wind is actually affecting my driving. And that's one thing I have to test. If you're playing with the Switch Lite, does the wind affect your driving? Does the character, does the items on the screen affect your driving? Hmm. I'm gonna have to test that later on a, on another video or yep okay so look at that we just got second place again god damn <laughs> so like you see there um really cool game really like it um also another thing that i should tell you guys when you're putting up the gates you know you're putting them back in again to the box or putting the you know to put it away make sure you're also very careful when you're putting it folding it back again because you can damage those carton the remember that is cardboard so make sure you're careful when you're putting it away and when you are setting it up you have to be careful um because you want this to last as much as you as as it can right this is cardboard at the end of the day this is cardboard the gates are cardboard so but you want to take care of that as much as possible so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about this game and um what other type of video you want to see for this and i'll try to answer the question in the comments about the nintendo switch Lite, about the effects on the screen maybe it does affect maybe it doesn't affect i don't know um here you can actually play multiplayer but it's only me here so i can't trust this out so guys Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.